We will now set up our circuit to perform automated control. We are continuing with our design of our data flow circuit. In the previous video, we used a state diagram to obtain the sequence of control inputs. We now wish to preset the sequence of control inputs. We do this so that the process can be repeated as necessary, can be easily modified, and will occur in real time. In this context, each state of the input sequence is called an instruction. As a whole, the input sequence is called a program. The preset input sequence is thus the software component of our design. When we first designed the data circuit, we observed that we needed three control inputs. The shift for the serial data from the source, the select for the destination, and the load for the parallel data for the destination. These are the three control inputs that we have included in our state diagram. Shift, select, load. When we study the state diagram more closely, we observe that shift and load operate in alternation. That is, when shift is 1, load is 0, and when load is 1, shift is 0. We therefore only require two independent control lines for our control inputs. One control line jointly for load and shift. We will set this to 1 for load and 0 for shift. The second control line will select the destination. The preset of the required sequence of control inputs will be implemented using a separate control circuit. The control circuit will drive the three control inputs, the shift, the select, and the load. However, we only need two preset sequences for these control inputs. One jointly for the load and the shift, which will be set to one for a load and zero for a shift. The other sequence is to select the destination. Each required input sequence is written into a shift register. These shift registers will be called control registers. These control registers are also driven by the common network clock. Because of the direction of the shift operation, the sequence must be written into the shift register from right to left. For our design, we need two control registers. The first is for the shift and the load. We will use 0 for a shift and 1 for a load. As seen from the state diagram, the required sequence of bits would be shift, shift, load, shift, shift, load, shift, shift, load, shift, shift, load. This control register is called the program register. The second control register contains the bit encoding the required destination. This bit is called the destination address, 0 for x, 1 for y. This control register is therefore called the address register. As we saw in the state diagram, the required sequence of addresses would be y, 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 x, 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 y, 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 x, x, x. Together with the data circuit, this is the overall design that will perform the required data transmission.